Okay, I'm making this video so it will hopefully help someone with their dishwasher and save them some money. Okay, so I have this Kenmore Elite dishwasher. It's old and its model number is on this post-it note, Kenmore Elite 655.12763K311. Just rolls off the tongue. Great marketing there, guys. Um, easy to remember. So, came one morning, and after running it overnight, the sanitize button is just blinking. And it's just blinking nonstop. No pattern, just constantly blinking. So, you look that up, and you get a zillion different answers. And they have a zillion different models, they all do different things. And there's all these different solutions that do not work. Here's what worked for this model. Um, first, you want to check a couple things. Open this up. The manual link is listed below, but what you want to do is clean this guy. Clean the filter down here. Run your hand through here. Make sure it's not hot. Make sure nothing's blocking the coil, the heat thing. Make sure there's no plastic spoons or anything else all along this. Um, and there's a filter here that you can uh, clean. The manual shows how to do that. But um, if nothing's going on there, there's also a filter down here that you can unscrew this. Clean this as well. But if there's nothing blocking those, then what you want to do is do this kind of reset, this kind of hard reboot for the system. And uh, other key codes did not work. But this model, what you do is press three buttons in order three times within five seconds. Yeah. So you do go like this. I'll just do normal. Let me close it. Normal. All the lights will come on like that. And then it will start a 10 minute test run. Let it do that and then everything should be cool. You could, it could be empty or it could have stuff in it, but uh, I did it empty. It'll run that and then everything fixed. Then when it was done, I'm going to cancel that right now. Then when it was done, the washers were normal, sanitized lights off, and Bob's your uncle. Um, if that does not fix it, um, look at the links below. It could be your thermostat, and someone else showed how to undo that. You could probably fix that underneath, or the heating element, which is a bigger deal, but you could, you might be able to do that as well. But links are below for that. Hope this helps anybody, and peace out later.